Hey, welcome back, guys, to this series of snippets from my membership website, from the field farm. I'm super delighted today to bring you another video with excellent expert microgreen grower Vanessa Hanel out of Calgary, Alberta. Vanessa's got an awesome indoor microgreen operation. She's crushing it. She, her production's dialed in. Her marketing's dialed in. She knows what's going on. And in this video, I was really impressed about how she is growing micro arugula, which is one of the more difficult crops to grow. So I won't say much more than that because I have another introduction in this video because this is a snippet from, from the field dot farm. But if you guys like this video, head over to from the field dot farm and check it out. I'm posting well over an hour of content each week. Usually there's a there's always a featured video that's about an hour long and then there's a Q&A podcast that is about an hour long as well and sometimes I even add in a couple short form videos much like the one you saw with micro acres. So if you guys like this, head over to from the field dot farm. The membership is only open from April 5th to April 19th. I open it four times a year in two week segments just like this one and if you're seeing this video around the time that it's posted there is still time to get in we've got an amazing community in there of growers and people that are passionate about growing and farming there's a forum where people are sharing ideas and talking shop there's no haters there's no trolls it's just people talking about the content and i'd love for you to join me there from the field dot farm enjoy Micro arugula is one of the hardest microgreens to grow and I was just amazed on how well her crops were doing. So in this part she's going to share with us some of her secrets to getting perfect micro arugula. I've had trouble with it in the past and sometimes it can just be the seeds I'm finding. Like anytime I think I'm doing something wrong often it's just adjusting to a new seed. But these ones I grow them once they've sprouted and I unstack them and put them on the shelves. I don't actually turn the lights on right away. I let them reach for a while, like another day maybe really? at the most, um, which seems to straighten them out and give them a little more stem, which yeah. makes them easier to harvest. Um, I mean, I just, the, the reason I didn't grow them as a standalone variety before is because you do get less volume off the tray. So yes. it didn't seem, it seemed like I'd be making less off of each tray that, and I am, but I think I'm at a point now where the volume is is more than makes up for that. What's, like the, what's the yield you're getting? It varies, <laughs> yeah. uh, but you like look pretty consistent though. Like this yeah. box all looks really good. I mean, it, it varies based on the time of the year. Even though we're indoors, it's this isn't like a high tech climate controlled facility. So yeah. in the summer, everything grows faster and bigger. Yes. Um, which is great and terrible because it screws up my timing. And in the winter, like if I have extra at the end of the week, I can hold it over to the next week and keep using it usually. Yep. Yep. Um, it, you know, it might be a little taller, but it still looks good and is fresh. Uh, in the summer, like you, it, it, things start turning yellow. It's because oh, they yeah. grow so fast. Oh, sure. So I don't, I think my yield is around 150 grams a tray. 150 grams a tray. Yeah, but yeah, so probably around there. Yep. Um, a little over a quarter pound. Yeah, whereas like, Radish is like a pound a, a pound. tray, easy. Oh, yeah. Like it just, you know, so when I do a mix with radish and arugula and broccoli, it evens out. Yeah. Um, but I, people love arugula. I can't argue with people and their arugula. What's your, <laughs> how much seed are you putting down per flat on arugula? Um, 12 grams. And are you just sprinkling that on just by hand? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Brad is. <laughs> yeah. 